Atwater finds Oglesby on the high post, gives it to Gibbs on the block. Gibbs up under move, splits the defender, oh. puts it off the glass. It's good for two. As she used every little bit of space she could find, but under the glass, King comes through for the rebound, gives it to Lefevers with a fresh shot clock. Swing pass across court. Three points hit from Adams. It's up. It's good. A great uh, recovery there by the Quakers to uh, get the ball out from underneath the glass and swing it around. Especially for uh, uh, from, for King down low. Quakers swinging around the top. Atwater gives it to Gibbs. Gibbs for three. Yes, it's good. And that's a three-pointer the Quakers needed right there. But Atwater comes away with the board. Once again, the Generals working the shot clock using that kind of that Notre Dame burned uh, offense as Gibbs. What a look to Gibbs. Oh, a great play right there as Atwater turned a dribble into a pass. And uh, the shot right underneath was good for two. Sends it over to Terry. Terry, she puts up a three. That one is good. It had a great arc from this perspective. And the Quakers tie the game at 20 apiece with 3.10 to go in the half. And six to go. She gives it over to Terry. Terry's down to force up a shot for three. Yes, it's good. A big three-pointer right there. Ties the game at 25 with 12 seconds to go. King now has the ball. She dribbles into the zone, creates a little space, gives it to Barker. Barker. For three, yes, it's good! As she drains the three-point shot and ties this game at 30 apiece. Gibbs had an open look for a second before Ingram came over and helped. She's driving to the zone. She gives it to King under the glass. That one is good as King breaks her cold streak and ties this game at 32. Gives the ball up on the rebound attempt, and King comes away with it. Quakers can reset. Here's Adams for three. Yes, it's good as Adams gives the Quakers a three-point lead, 35-32. Their way, dishing it back to Terry. Terry pops up for three. No good, and King grabs the rebound. She puts up a second chance. That one is good. And the Quakers just send the lead to six. Timeout called by Washington and Lee. He's up court, sends it to Oglesby. Oglesby has King on the on the block. She turns, puts up a shot off the glass. No good. Atwater's there for the board. She puts it off the glass. Yes, it's good. And the Quakers now lead by four. four. Dribbling into the zone, looking to make something happen. Turns, shoots it. Yes, it's good. By the nice soft touch right there as it falls through the net. Shoot, gives it to Terry. Adams coming around the corner. Gives it to the fevers beyond the arc. Over to Gibbs. Gibbs takes a shot for three. Yes! It's good. And a timeout is called. As Quake, the Quakers tie the game at 48 with 18.5 seconds to play. A huge shot from Jaslyn. Will take the final shot. She dribbles up. She has his base three. Gives it to Herman underneath. Ball's blocked. The clock expires. No shot. No score. No foul. We're going to overtime. To Terry. Terry. Thinks about driving in, gives it to Atwater beyond the arc. Atwater holds up for three. Yes, it's good. So the Quakers cut the lead in half as Atwater drains a three from beyond the men's uh, line. Has the ball. Needs to get s- on the corner. someone. Get into someone deep. Gives it. It's tipped by tipped by Washington and Lee, and the Quakers won't even get a chance to tie this game. And the, the Generals will win this game in overtime by the score of 57 to 54.